15-5. Answer to chess. Let's block the pawn. Let's develop the knight, supporting the pawn. We're familiar with this pattern. And this one as well. Bringing the bishop, stopping the fried liver attempt. And let's go with the knight. It's making space for castling, keeping it all simple, straightforward. So we can understand what we're doing. So we castle, king safety. Okay, keep it simple. Either going here or here with the bishop. I've got a deep thinker, but as we know, deep thinking doesn't mean you're choosing the right move after all of that. And I love the long play games and I want to really get better at the long play games. Long play games are where ch real chess is at, but you have to also look at the negative sides of long play. And one of the key things as we've mentioned is you have too many options and choices and you have to then be able to bring that skill down a little bit and just really hone in on a better attacking position or a better defensive position or just simply a better waiting move Let's x-ray through to the queen. So there is that patience factor, but there's also having too much patience where you're just overthinking. You don't want to fall into them realms. I'm going to take the knight to keep it real simple. I'm going to attack the bishop. Didn't think they were going to take. Let's just take it off the board. Gives them the attacking position here with the queen and the rook. We are protected, so we can bring the queen to look like it's getting into some sort of activity. This pawn is currently being attacked, so a simple move here. Maybe getting the rook across, pushing the pawn up. Alright, so that's blocking the queen from shooting all the way across to the other side of the board. That's all that's doing. So we'll just leave the pawn like we said, and we potentially are looking, we can hit the pawn, pawn takes, or we can bring the queen here, looking to see if we don't want to cause trouble here. So I'm gonna go opposite the king, but also looking, see if there's any spaces, attacking the unprotected pawn, Unprotected pawn. So the queen wants to go on a journey, but they're not allowing it. So we're giving them things to think about all the time. One of the pluses that we were thinking was, was eventually getting this pawn pushed up at some point, but we need to get the support. So if we go with the support first to then start pushing, might then drag their rook across to get some more support to help defend against the attack. They may be considering, well, I don't really want to bring this rook across here because he's just going to attack this pawn. And what do I do? But he's got double pawns. Don't need to worry. Doesn't have to take either. All right, so it looks like he's supporting any activity coming across here and also he's saving his pawn as well queen's not coming across here because obviously the rook has um, spoiled the party but we are attacking this pawn like we said 
We've done the support here. We've got support from the rook. Maybe they attack, but the rook queen is in front, so they don't want to be facing our rook. So positionally, feel okay. Just our flat rooks aren't really in the game. Their flat rooks aren't, but they feel like they're bolstering a better position. So if we can get some type of break, let's hit this queen. Looks like we're getting the rook off the board. We don't have to take. We can actually bring the rook here and support. So we don't need to rush. And I think that's what we're going to do. Show a bit of patience. Got to take it now, obviously. And then I'm going to put a check on the king. That might be arty, but I just saw it straight away. I thought that needs to be done. And we can take the rook. The queen then comes down. We put a check on the king, get the pawn in the center. Let's take. Take. Get the pawn in the center. So they've got the double pawn situation. If we get this pawn away from that situation, then... You know, I think they're going to try and force this situation, but let's get the king up. Don't think we're fast enough. Yes, no, no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Ah, uh, uh, that's not fair. So if we go here, and the king takes. Yep, go here, king takes. Ooh, king's not taking. Doesn't like our game. Let's support the pawn then. So we've got pawn majority this side. They've got pawn majority doubled on this side. So they're looking to try and make that strong somehow. Two double pawns they've got. And do we lose time now because we have to go backwards? Yeah, we're getting zugzwanged. Let's hit the head of the snake. We're getting zugzwanged. We're going to have to come back. The king is going to come here. So when all the moves have been exhausted here, we would lose out. Go for a massive doubling of the pawns then. And push this pawn. Don't think we're getting past because of the doubled aspect. Because if we did hit there, they could take, we take, and then nobody's moving. So in the back of my head, I'm just thinking, oh, there must be something with our poor majority. I know we're going to get Zugzwang, but he's going to have to make a move of some sort, isn't he? So let's move the king. Uh, move the king up. Not sure if that or is he coming around to support some sort of attack around here. Delicate, delicate, delicate. Oh, let's um, on pass on. We have a passer here. Oh man, could have continued. I was just about to say we have a passer here, so they're gonna have to contend with that if they're capturing. Then we can come across and start peeling these pawns off. Very interesting game.